Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. That's right, Ed. Good evening, everybody. We are going to start off tonight with this picture from Sheila Draper. This is some water. You got a little wind on the water, huh? Here in the Billings area, when that cold front blew through, we had a 52 mile per hour wind. But more importantly, we had some rain coming out of the sky, and Sheila got that picture of it. Tim Maxwell and Cody got this picture of tonight's sunset there, real pretty. And here's the way it looks in Billings right now. It's not a bad night for us, 62 degrees. We still have mostly cloudy skies. The rain has fallen and moved on a little bit, so that was our first batch. We're expecting to see more rain move in tomorrow and again tomorrow night. The big batch of rain actually starts moving in on Thursday. Right now, our wind's out of the south at about three miles per hour. It's kind of light right now. And as you can see, our high temp today, 84, your normal high, 74, the record 92 back in 2015. And as far as record low, look at this, 29 back in 1970. Yeah, that was a cool morning. We're not going to get that cold, but we are going to see temperatures really start cooling down a little bit in the next few days. But this is the thing I like. Look at this, 507 inch of rain fell today. Now, today is September 13th, last time we had any measurable rain in Billings. You got to go back to August 14th. So almost a month ago was the last time we had any measurable rain. On the 1st of September, we had a trace, and that was it. So you'll notice that takes us to now we haven't filled this in. Uh, it's at 0.05 now is where it should be, and we should be at 1129. But you'll notice that 30 year average is really starting to creep up at 1058. So we'll see what happens. But I do see more rain moving our way in the next 24 hours. Our current temps into the 50s and 60s out in the west, across the high line, 44 at Cutbank, into the 70s back here over. Glen Dive and Mile City. Here in Billings, we're 62, 60s in northern Wyoming. But look at all the 80s we had today. Yeah, it cooled down from the 90s a little bit, kind of stair stepping it down. So into the 80, 84 degrees was our high at Billings, 87 over at Mile City. In the far west, 70s and 80s out there today. And as we move on, look at this. This is the smoke problem we have. Air, we basically have an, an air uh, quality alert all the way over from every county in the state, from one side of Montana to the other. And that's the first time I've ever seen that, including the 1988 Yellowstone fire. So, yeah, that is kind of unusual today. But you'll notice here's what we do have working for us now. There's your showers. That's kind of pushing away some of the smoke, or at least we're kind of melting it out of the sky a little bit. Continues to make its way towards Mile City. Mile City, you folks are going to get some good rain here in the next half hour or so, and some more showers moving in towards the Great Falls area. As we pull back, you'll notice here's the story. Had a cold front move through, low pressure cell around that low pressure cell, and that low pressure cell brought some gusty winds. It continues to drop a little bit farther south. And now tomorrow morning, look for the rain showers moving into the Billings area again. And then this low starts sending more moisture our way by 6 p.m. on Tuesday, and it continues to just sit and pull a lot of moisture and wrap it around right towards us. So right on through Friday, look for heavy rainfall off and on throughout the day. How much rain are we talking about? Well, 172 for Billings, maybe 186 for Mile City over two inches over at Glendive. So basically everybody in south central Montana, they're going to get well over an inch of rainfall out of this thing by the time it's over and done with by the time uh, Friday night gets here. Tonight we'll cool down to the 40s out west, maybe 40s and 50s back here in the east, but still some scattered lingering rain showers around Mile City. Then tomorrow back into the 50s and 60s again, almost like our overnight lows. In the far west, maybe some 40s out there with generally scattered rain showers moving in throughout much of the day tomorrow. And then tonight at midnight, it will be 60 degrees, kind of smoky. Rain in the morning, rain throughout the day, 52 at 6 p.m. Next seven days, it'll be 59 degrees on Thursday. Good chance of rain, 90% chance of rain on Friday. Rain likely again on Saturday, 52 degrees. Back up to 73 by Monday and then 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. But look at that number there, 37 degrees on Saturday night, Sunday morning. You may want to cover your backyard garden tender vegetables. Let's go back to the desk.